Horizon Forbidden West is a deeply involving experience, full of imposing machines, warring tribes, and a ton of lore to uncover. But it's also an astounding technical achievement, with an attention to detail across its gameplay, characters, and visuals that had us shaking our heads in disbelief. There were a lot to choose from, but here's our favorite amazing little details found in Horizon Forbidden West. Gorilla has spent a lot of time perfecting Aloy's animations, even in less dynamic moments. When standing near a ledge, for example, Aloy will sway and try to keep her balance, and even her arms will visibly shake when you have her bow drawn. In more dynamic moments, Gorilla's knack for bespoke animations continues to impress. The repel down move is back and cool as ever, but the way Aloy activates the shield wing or throws out the pool caster is just as stylish. Machines are subtly different from one another. If you look closely, they have the logo of their cauldron, where they were manufactured, printed on them. They're also realistically battle-worn. If you zoom in on their exteriors, you'll see rust spots and scratches, especially on their undersides. Aloy has a lot of verbal callouts, but we're always impressed when she mentions things related to her quest log. If you're doing the main quest, but you're close to a side quest beat, for example, Aloy might mention it out loud. Nice. I definitely don't sound like rebels. Aloy will physically react to whatever environment she's in. She'll shiver in the cold, catch snowflakes in her hand, and she'll sweat and pant in the heat. She'll also verbally mention the weather. She'll call out if it starts to rain or if she's caught in the snow. Her hair is also incredibly dynamic. It flows in the wind, bounces while running, and moves around realistically underwater. When you finish a side quest and Aloy says to a key character from that side quest that she'll check on them in town, she actually means it. You can visit the town they head to and actually check in on them with some dialogue options. When you attract a machine's attention but then throw a rock to distract it, it will keep watching the spot it thinks you're in as it moves to where you threw the rock. You can use the pool caster to snag items off of ledges that you can't reach or just don't want to walk all the way over to. The dual sense mirrors the movements of machines. A bigger robot will cause a larger rumble, and machine attacks that stagger Aloy will be felt in the controller. Speaking of the DualSense, it will use its haptics and speaker to mimic elements of your weaponry, like the crackle of electricity from a shock tripcaster. SideQuest will have real impact this time around. You can pop in and out of chain scrape if you want, or you can follow all of its threads and effect real change, such as ousting its leader and replacing it with a much better one. Conversations are more interesting across the board this time around. Characters are often interacting with the world around them, gesturing more, and just generally talking more like real people. Speaking of, Gorilla found a neat trick to always ensure that no matter what choices you make in conversation, it's always ready for another question. Aloy and another character might be sitting in one position as their default, but will move around, stand up, gesture to nearby items, and more if you dig into the dialogue options but as they wind down, they'll slowly return to their default resting animation so it's a smooth transition to whatever comes next. Machine Strike, Forbidden West's game within a game, adapts the main gameplay mechanics in really cute ways. Game pieces have both shielded spots and weak spots. Lighting can make a big difference in showing off the detail in Horizon Forbidden West's costumes. Depending on the angle, the light will highlight different patterns on the outfit. The outfits also get dirty, snowy, and sandy depending on where you slide. If you wander out of range during a conversation to grab an item, and the conversation ends abruptly, it will resume naturally when you move back into the range of the NPC you were talking with. If you're trying to stay out of a machine's way by balancing on a pole out of its reach, it will absolutely notice you and try to knock the pole down. Occasionally, you will stumble over tribes taking out machines of all sizes, and sometimes they'll have chipped away at them enough for you to swoop in, finish the job, and steal the loot. You can shield wing into certain parts of the environment to give you a lift, like dust tornadoes in the desert. You can also drop from the shield wing onto your mount. And yes, it's as cool as it sounds. And finally, if you switch into photo mode, you can actually use the snow angel pose in sand or snow to make snow angels. And those were our favorite little details. What did you notice? Make sure to shout out in the comments and for everything else Horizon Forbidden West, check out our review and the biggest changes from Zero Dawn and how long it takes to beat. And of course for everything else, stick with IGN.